Um, what are you guys' thoughts on the most recent thing with Enzo Fernandez for Chelsea? And what do you think Chelsea yeah, have to do in this situation? Um, on on Enzo, it's <laughs> whether Chelsea. I can't really say what Chelsea should do because um, one, he's he's one of their main players. He's contracted till like, I think twenty thirty two or something like that. So realistically. They're not gonna so yeah, Chelsea yeah. gave him like yeah. a nine year contract or something, eight year or nine year contract, some, some madness. Um yeah. well, oh, he's he, he's put out his statement apologizing, etc. But then Bunch of rubbish. Um yeah. rubbish, absolutely. Rubbish. I think Rodrigo de Paul today basically said that Fofana shouldn't have put out his statement um because he's hmm? inciting and there's just been like a few stupid fans saying, oh, yeah, Fofana should have kept it in-house, blah, 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 all that jazz. Um, Why? Why would you keep something in-house and you said if you've gone public? If he's public, I come public with my statement. Same mate, thing. It's literally, you know, you know people that like, they'll try and justify racism in, in some or ignorance in some sense. And I'm like, just shut your mouth. Or yeah. they'll be like, oh, no, don't do First of all, don't ever tell someone how to deal with a situation that they feel it affects them, especially when it's a race thing. If you're not if yeah. you're not black in that situation, definitely don't have no import. No offense. Just and keep them and quiet, man. there is but the funny side of it, there is black people that are black that said what Enzo said is nothing wrong, all that kind of jazz was like, all right, cool. We know what side mm. of the fence we sit on in that sense. Yeah. And then uh is it Nicholas Jackson? I think he might have posted um, pictures yeah. of him and Enzo the following day. I was like, all right, we know what kind of black guy you are. All right. Cool, cool, yeah. and, then, and then the Argentinian black, vice president. The, mm. the, the Argent mm. Nicholas, I always <laughs> think he's South American, bro. He's Senegalese. I, I just always think he's South American. Um, yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was yeah. from Colombia. No, he moves like one of them. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I just always thought he was South American, even when Chelsea signed him. But he's Senegalese. Um, but oh. yeah, the Argentinian vice president. Yeah, yeah Miss Colombia. She, she basically doubled down on her statement. Um, I can't remember exactly what she said, but she said something along the lines of what Enzo sang or what they sang. There's nothing wrong with it because it's telling the truth. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but she basically said it along those lines, and I'm like, bro. And Argentina's got a. If people actually check up Argentina's history on in terms was, of Argentina and black I, people. It, it I is. It's peak. I don't know if there's black people there now. Yeah, I don't know if there's black people there now. But they basically got rid of black people years ago, decades <laughs> ago. And when we say in decades, we're talking Nazi times. Yeah. So. That's nah, that's what. Know, yes. Don't if you know the black population now. Mm -mm, but, not many. Right. Not many. Like every and everyone obviously likes Argentina because of Lionel Messi, but if you know the history, as you've just said, it's not what it's not what it looks like. And what they were oh. saying, they, they what they were saying in that video, they truly believe. So no no statement or apology is gonna ever get through to me because you're not really sorry for it. You wouldn't have done it if you felt that you were gonna be an apology. For Do you know what's mad though? Like Enzo's the person. I'm not. I won't even say I'm angry because I'm not even angry. Enzo's the person. I'm not mad this at our people's that are talking after it is the people that are trying to defend it because his statement actually he's basically admitting what he done he's not saying using no excuse so i'm not saying i rate him for his statement but he's not doubling down or using anything as excuse it's people that are defending it, 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 him washing him. away his apology even though his apology Bro, was bullshit people his teammate this vice president or you just got silly fans like you've got a lot of chelsea fans i'll be like oh yeah if often i kept it in-house um we, the club would have dealt yeah, with know where it they stand all, all that, that bro you've chelsea got like club, three or four like shit, french man. french players bro yeah, <laughs> so you know chelsea you know what chelsea's history is a football club as well yeah, but now their squad is black. Like majority of their squad yeah, but is black. Their, squ their squad was black when Hasselbank and all and all their men were there. They were still doing well, the same thing. Like Chelsea, that, bro. bro, when they had signed Sadov off and all their men, Chelsea squad's been black for a while. You know, nah, they've been doing the black man. You're talking about like Chelsea squad now is practically black. If you do no, no, I understand, but yeah, but they've been doing the black thing for a long time, bro. Yeah, they've no, had no, don't get me wrong. They had Kalu. They had. 
they've, they've always, always had black, black brothers or African players. They've always kind of bled in that sense. But like, but the fan base has always been racist. It's, it's uh, here nor there. The, I always the say black jokes being racist. Made me laugh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but what? But what, why? Why is that? Why is that even a chant from Argentina though? What? What? They're what did, a racist did, country. What did them not? What did they Conquer even do to? Since the World Cup final, they've, they've tried to build up some weird rivalry with France, but on a lot of like negative kind of statements towards players and chants. Like a few of their players have said somewhat like got oh, negative things in it. Obviously not comparable to the chant or etc. But it seems like now, if they were to match up again in the next World Cup, uh, there would be bad blood, and rightfully so. Like. Well, but it's also the, but, but I feel like the history of the country, so and I feel like the history of the country involves is involved in that sort of stuff. Like those chants are deeper than just this rivalry from the football pitch. Those yeah, chants bro. come from a deeper place. You can see and you can you, feel. You know, check the vice president's statement. She doubles down and basically says, "Oh no, it is right because those kind like France basically is full of like say immigrants and stuff like that." I'm like, bro. Uh, so so full of, so is everywhere else. Scottish, do you get <laughs> what I mean? Argentinians, a lot of them say have Italian background and all that kind of stuff. Do that, mm-hmm. like, are you really Argentine like that? But anyway, well, like where they're really from, but yeah, that's, yeah. that's... that's but I, I, still don't, I still don't get why, why they're making a job for a team that they beat in the final. No, it's, it's, the ra- like no, no it's, it's the racism factor in the country, Dej. It's just the fact that their fans were singing in the stadium, so they thought, oh, let's this song's fine to sing in the for us to sing in the team bus but it's because their men are so racist to the point that they think they're not racist when they're singing these songs yeah, yeah. that's what it is that, it, that's what it is like it's, it's a norm thing to them like they're like oh yeah, yeah. like they think because they've been doing it for like say their, their whole life oh no no it's fine no it's not like do you get what i mean where? and if it and fernandez forgets that he where he lives he forgets he plays football in london one of the most diverse cities in the world where? Listen, don't, don't let it up. Let's up on the guy, man. If someone smashed his leg in training, then boy, boy, he's, he's, boy, he's coming just... back. To, he's coming back to hell. You know, you, how are you coming back as a white man to that black football club right now? I think the pure it, hell. It, it, it depends on how, like, say the club or you board build security in London. <laughs> the club, yeah. the club needs to deal with it. The, the club, if they need to say. Chelsea got enough funds in that to sign a new Enzo Fernandez. It ain't been that great for them, I'll be honest. They can bloody send them on loan. They can do whatever they feel like doing. But I don't feel like a lot of them players are accepting them back in the building. Nicholas Jackson, you you do you because you're a maniac and you want to be... Yeah, they'll, they'll be them rolling them. together. Yeah, but everyone else is going to look at you with a side eye because we're already looking at you with a side eye. And everyone else that plays for the football club ain't going to want you to play with them. It's going to be yeah, a John Terry like situation. It's going to be a John Terry situation, yeah. but... But ten times worse because you put it on social media. <laughs> Even John Terry's one, you had people in the club back anyway. But, but and but John Terry's English. That's why John Terry can kind of got away with it. You're not yeah. English. You ain't got no English media English backing. Trust me, you ain't, ain't yeah. backing that. No, but backing or not, still still this mate. Look, I exactly. Uh, that shit apology, man. Go fuck off, man. Yep, in the nicest possible way. <laughs> Nah, man, not even that's what you know. Nah, it's I hear it. Yeah, it. no, it makes sense. 